Introducing the new Zero Halogen Heat Shrink Joint from Shrink Polymer Systems in conjunction with materials supplied by Sumitomo. The cable preparation has been completed, the mechanical connectors staggered across the joint cap and now we fit the mechanical connector insulation tubes. Heating from the centre to one end at a time, keep the flame on the move to create an even more thickness. Next, we position the inner shrink sleeve. This is positioned from inner bedding to inner bedding. Using a bushy flame, heat from the centre of the tube to one end at a time. Keep the flame all around the tube to ensure an even wall thickness and good adhesive flow. Once fully recovered, the tube should be wrinkle free and sealant should be seen at the ends. Apply the heavy duty copper mesh from armour to armour across the joint cap with 50% overlap. Secure temporarily. Connect the three main earth straps over the joint cap and secure with the armour clamps provided. Roughening up the insulation will provide a good adhesive key when the outer tubes are later fitted. We now position the outer shrink sleeve centrally and make a mark on the outer cable sheath. We then take the two additional heat shrink sleeves that are in the kit, offer them to the marks and shrink into position. The outer shrink sleeve is then offered across the joint cap, centred up, and then shrunk into position. Again, starting at the centre, shrinking to one end at a time. Remember to keep the flame on the move to create an even more thickness. Finally, we position the fire barrier tube across the joint, centre it up and hold it in place with large stainless steel roll springs. The joint is now complete.